Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to see the tools in Marybank and how to use them. Those who are new here, you can find the tutorials on how to draw a manga and illustrations using Flip Studio Paint and Marybank Paint in our channel. And also, you can find the latest upcoming anime and new seasons airing dates and review and discussions of anime. And if you like the content, please do follow us on our social media. The links are in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. Getting back to today's video. Under the title bar, we have menu bar. In the menu bar, we have file, edit, layer, filter, select, snap, color, view, tool, window, cloud, and help. And beneath it, we have some icons. We are going to discuss about them one by one. And on the left side of the screen, you can find tools. Beside that, you can find a color palette, brush preview, brush control, and brushes. And on the right side of the screen, you can find navigator, layer, and brush size so let's start learning from file menu in the file menu we have options like new cloud project importing file open open recent file open the image as layer open from cloud save save as save to cloud export rasterize print environment settings brush environment settings and shortcut settings close let's create a new page here we have two options to create a page either standard or comic in the standard page you have to give width and height in either pixel or inches or centimeter and then you can give the resolution whether it is 350 or 600 and you can change the background color also or else you can go to the comic section in the comic section we have a template of many kinds just select one and check the finish line and save line details if you are okay with it then click on ok Right now, I want just a standard page with a 1920 and 1080p. Right, we have one more thing that is status bar. If you move your mouse towards any tool, it displays the tool's name down here. For example, see here, I'm moving my mouse on the tools. It is showing you the tool name, right? Let's see the tool's names once. First one is brush tool, eraser, shape brush, dot, move, fill, bucket, gradient, select, lasso, magic wand, select pen, select eraser, text, operation, divide, eyedropper, and hand. These all are the main tools we use in drawing. And these operational and divide tools are used to create panels in manga. You can select any type of colors you want from these two options also. One is a palette and other one is color picker. In the brush control, you have size of the brush and opacity. You can reduce the opacity of a brush by dragging here this bar. We have many brushes here. In this, you will get few of them by default when you install Mediabank in your PC. But see here, the last four brushes I have downloaded from the cloud services. If you want, you can even make your own custom brush. In the next video, I will show you how to make your own custom brush. Now let's see how to add brush from cloud services. See, you have a cloud symbol down here, right? Click on it. It will open a dialog box. In that box, you have around 175 brushes with its own presets. Just scroll down and if you find any brush interesting, just give a double tap. If you double click on the brush, it will download it into your PC and you can start using it. For example, let's see, I like this petal brush. Double click it, it will show a downloading message. And there on, if I close this one, I can find the petal brush in my brushes too. See here. The size of the brush is not fixed. You can rearrange it however you want. You can also even mess with the settings they have given by default. You can change the particle size, particle rotation, angle, size by pressure, opacity. You can change everything. You can just mess with it. When you are drawing, you made a mistake and you want to erase it you can use either undo option over here or if you want to erase the whole layer you just go to the layer menu here and click on clear you can even use the shortcuts to clear the layer in my case i have made delete button as my shortcut for erasing the layer if you don't want to use this brush you find it not useful to you you can just delete it anytime for that you have to click on the small bar and it will show your delete option just click on it now let's see this pen tool that I use more. I use this to draw up my manga or illustrations. 
we can even mess with the settings also for example let's see you can see a smooth uniform line right if you want it you can even make a edges faded also click on the settings icon over here and you will find size by pressure opacity by pressure and force fade in and fade out if you click on them you will find the change see here at the tip of the last line you can find the brush is fading if i apply the pressure with my pen you can find a complete smooth line but if i apply less pressure you can find the opacity has decreased the edge of the line right now let's see if i make a force fade in and fade out you can see the edges are sharp right this force fade in and fade out is used for things like this to draw very sharp branches or small twigs see this for example and see this next one you can even change the types of pens also the pen sharp is same exactly works like this g pen it gives us a wooses feeling when you are drawing anything with a pencil or pen on your paper you will find a rough texture right it will give you the same feeling and the next one mapping pen mapping pen also does the same and here see the edge pen it will give you the outline around it and the next one stripple i use it frequently when drawing hair in my manga of course not very often the next one is sumi this one i won't use that much i don't know why next one you have a water color and water wet color these are you can find in photoshop also acrylic gives us a motion blur and airbrush gives us a soft touch the blur and uh, smudge you will see in the next tutorials when i'm drawing a color illustration and the sparkle brush you have it you literally use it to draw stars or sparkles in your drawings like this and the next one we have is rotation symmetry pen it's a very unique pen and i like it most in these brush presets you can draw very cool drawings see here See? Interesting, right? Now let me show you a much more interesting one. Pretty cool, right? Let's make one more. With the increase in the number of lines, you can draw amazing things like this. We will discuss about these erasers later. Let's move over to the next let's move to the next one, fragment. It literally is used when you are showing a broken glass or window in a picture. and the fragment too is it just gives a glow effect in the next one sumi 4 i use this brush to draw a background for my tree or any plant let's see here for example This is my custom brush I created in Medibank. Now let's move on to the next one, fluffy watercolor. I use this brush to draw clouds. Do you want to see how? Check it out. Now see the next one erase a tool this literally erases anything you have drawn now i said we will see the eraser soft and eraser brushes later right let's see this one how it works see it gives a soft touch 
And the next one we have is shape tool. You can draw however you want using these shapes. Line, polyline, spline, rectangle, circle and pentagon. And about this dot tool I haven't used it that much but I'll make a video very soon on this after knowing exactly what it can do. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one, move tool. It literally moves your object when you have drawn anything on your paper and fill tool bucket I think you are very familiar with these tools right you know about gradient tool also if you want to know more about this gradient tool I have made a video a few months back you can check it out I will give you the link in description now let's see the next one select tool you can select using these shapes rectangle ellipse and polygon and with the lasso tool also same but in this case you have to select it freehand and magic wand you know i think and the next one selection pen tool whatever you have selected with the pen only will get selected and you can fill only in those areas and the same happens with the selection eraser To use this operation and divide tool, first of all, let's create a panel. You can move around these panels like this when you are drawing manga. It will be very helpful. And next one you know about eyedropper, right? Now let's see about this menu one by one. For example, I have drawn a picture and I want to copy it. You just go to edit menu and click on copy. If you paste it again, it will create a duplicate layer. And the other options you have in edit menu are, you can rotate the canvas, left, right and horizontal. You can even change the pixel size and if you want you can even change the canvas size you can right now we are using 1920 by 1080 right you can even change it into 720p or 540p or 360 whatever you want and the next menu is about layers in this menu you can find creating a new layer new folder a half tone merging all the layers deleting a layer clearing the layer and you can find a materials also and the next one we have is filter menu with this filter menu we can change the colors of what you have drawn it, up, it is applicable only when you are drawing a color illustrations it won't work when you are drawing a monochrome see we can mess with the colors like this and with the chromatic aberration you can give glow to these edges in the next menu we have select in select mostly we need to see a transform and mesh transform these options are very helpful when you are drawing now let's see the next one snap i'm planning to make a video on how to use these snaps parallel crisscross vanishing point radial circle curve curve line these all are snaps we use mostly when you are drawing and the next one is color menu this color menu is used to change the appearance of this color preset you can add a palette or you can change it into a bar or a wheel. The next one is view. In this view, the most important thing that we need to check it out is guideline settings. You can add borders to your manga page. And if you don't want, you can just uncheck it. And also you can change the background color. If you don't like it white, make it an orange or something. And from the tool menu, you can choose which tool you want to use right now. And this window menu will helps you to customize your workstation. And about this cloud, we have network dialog, submission, apply for the contest, material dialog, annotation mode. These all you can find here in these icons. Let's see about them one by one. First one here is cloud services. Here you can find your login details and beneath it illustrate draw manga, open file, open recent file, open from cloud. These all things you can find. And also it will show you the details of the contest which are available now. And the next important thing is material dialog. And you can find some pretty cool materials which you use to draw in manga. There are three types of materials, tile, tone and item. This tile is nothing but our tones and you can mess with the tones like this. 
the next one we have item right now i don't have any items downloaded if you want to download just click on this icon and it will show you many options in this i need a police car here click on it and click on the button stock to my list or you can choose paste to canvas right now i want to save it so click on stock to my list and it will be downloaded into your material dialog now you can just click and drag to your canvas and you can even rearrange the size of it you can rotate it you can flip it whatever you want you can do it these all are and these all options will work if you are having any projects which are saved in your cloud services that's it for today guys thank you for watching if you like this video please hit the like and share it to your friends don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon see you in the next video